it's Alice and today I thought we could try and get a little bit into the Christmas spirit and hopefully maybe make some Christmas decorations. So I've got some origami paper that I thought I would try to make something out of. I've never done this before so I have some like tutorials up that I'm gonna try and follow and see if we can make something cute. And then I also have this which is like I think you just assemble it and it makes a star. Maybe we should start with this one actually and work our way up as we go. Another important thing I have with me today is this. This is my favorite Christmas soda. I don't know if they have like Christmassy soda other places but in Norway it's a big thing and this is my favorite. I like the brown one not the red one and this really like this is one of my absolute favorite things about the Christmas season is when they start selling this because it's delicious. You can only get this during the holidays and for some reason it's extra like delicious when you have it in a glass bottle. So I got some of these and I'm gonna drink it today while we try to do some origami, I guess. I thought while I do this we could have a little chat about what puts us in the Christmas spirit. Even though I'm not a huge Christmassy person, I do have some things that I like about the season and that really like put me in the Christmas mood, I guess. I think the Christmas sort of joy for me, because I do get a little bit of it, believe it or not, sort of comes before Christmas even arrives. I feel like I almost prefer like the beginning part of December over like the time when we're actually getting close to Christmas because by that point I feel like there's been so much Christmas that I'm a little bit tired of it. So I sort of enjoy maybe like the first week or so of December the most, which is maybe a little weird, but there are some things that really put me in the Christmas spirit during that time and one of those things is music. Now I listen to music, I'm not one of those people who's like super into it, but I do love Christmas music actually. A funny thing about it though is that <laughs> apparently I listen to kind of like weird Christmas music. Like a colleague of mine told me uh, a couple of years ago that I like put on a playlist while I was at work, I just put on my Christmas playlist and she was like, oh this is cool, but you listen to like weird Christmas music and I was like, I didn't know I did that, but maybe I do. I think maybe what makes it a little bit different or weird is that I don't listen to a lot of the classics, I guess. I don't, I don't know, I just don't really like <laughs> a lot of the classic like Christmas music. So I listen to a lot of more modern stuff and like covers of things. For some reason I just enjoy those more. We have our first thing done by the way and Honestly, this is surprisingly cool. I kind of like this. I might hang some of these on my tree. I have a feeling that this might be the best that I do today because it's very simple. I feel like I'll struggle a little bit more with this, but we'll see. I might put some string on these and put them up somewhere. I think I have like two artists that I listen to the most during the season. I really like Pentatonix and their Christmas music. They are an acapella group, if you're not familiar with them, and they have a lot of different covers, but I especially enjoy their Christmas stuff, and they seem to really enjoy Christmas as well, and you can kind of tell by how many Christmas albums they have. But they have covers of a lot of songs that I really enjoy. And then I also really like Lindsay Sterling's Christmas album. She is a violinist, and she has covers as well of... Christmas songs and it's beautiful. I also obviously listen to some of the more like famous stuff like All I Want For Christmas by Mariah Carey is a song that I need to listen to every Christmas. Although I feel like by the time I get to the middle of December I will stop listening to it because I've heard it so much that I am completely over it. I also have a couple of songs by Dolly Parton. <laughs> on my Christmas list. Like she has some covers that I really enjoy. And then one of my favorite Christmas songs is by a Norwegian artist called Maria Manla. And she has a song called Home for Christmas that is a little bit like sad and melancholic, but it's really, really beautiful. A lot of her music is kind of sad to be honest, so that makes sense. But 
I really enjoy that one as well. And then I don't really listen to any other classics that I can think of. These are kind of cool. I really like these. Obviously these came in like a ready-made packet, so they're very easy to assemble. And there are more here that I'm gonna put together at some point, but they're very easy. So I wanna move on to something a little bit more challenging. And I think maybe I wanna try and make like an origami tree. It looks a little bit challenging, maybe. We'll see how this goes. Now this packet that I got has all kinds of different patterns and they're all kind of like wintry and Christmassy. And my plan is to maybe be able to hang some of these on my tree. So I'm gonna try to find some colors that sort of fit with the theme that I have going on. So I'm gonna use this, which is green on one side and it has like pine cones on the other. And we'll see how this goes. I feel like origami is one of those things that looks fairly simple. And then you actually try to do it and it's not simple at all. I might have to like speed this part up because I don't know if I can talk while I'm doing this. <laughs> I am no origami master, but I did make a tree, which is something. I think the next thing I'm gonna try to make is this like diamond shaped Christmas decoration that you can put on your tree. I might put this on my tree as well, actually, because it is kind of cute. Now to make this, I think you need two sheets of paper. So I'm gonna find some shiny ones, I think, because there are some in here that have like foil. Now there are some stuff that I like watching this time of year as well that puts me in like the Christmas spirit, I guess. There are loads of Christmas movies out there, obviously. I don't like most of them. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of them, so I don't know. I only watch the ones that I already know and that I know that I like. And I think my favorite one is probably The Grinch. I really enjoy The Grinch. I haven't seen the new animated one though, even though I really want to. But I really enjoy <laughs> the old The Grinch. And then I guess the movie's name is technically The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, but you know what I mean. I really like that one. And then I also actually like The Holiday, which is a movie that I don't feel like is the type of movie I usually like, but for some reason I really enjoy that one. Other than that, I don't really watch a lot of like Christmas stuff. I remember when I was growing up, there was, we had like these things on TV. I don't know if they do it other places, but I would imagine they do. But we had like different types of shows where you would get one episode of something every day leading up to Christmas. And there were several different ones. And I grew up with, some different ones. I haven't seen them since I was a kid though, so I don't really watch those anymore, but I do remember it was great when I was growing up to like watch a little Christmassy thing like every single evening. That was also before the time of streaming, so you had to sit down at the right time every day and watch it every day, otherwise you were gonna miss it. Like there were no reruns, nothing. If you missed an episode, you missed it, and that was it. <laughs> So for this one, I think you basically make two of these and then you put them together. That's what it looks like, at least. This one is a little bit easier than the tree because they're, the folds are not like super small. So I might be able to make more than one of these. Might not do it in this video, but we'll see. Now, other than Christmas music and movies, I guess what puts me in the Christmas spirit is I do enjoy the fact that it gets darker in the evenings and that there are like lights outside. Like a lot of people put fairy lights or Christmas lights. I don't know what the difference is. It's kind of the same thing. They put like Christmas lights on their porches and they hang them and they put like stars in their windows and stuff. And so when you walk around in the city during Christmas season, it's usually like very cozy and it's a little bit brighter than normal. I don't love <laughs> the fact that the sun sets at like 2.30 in the evening, but I feel like the lights and stuff makes everything a little bit better. And sometimes when I'm walking home from work and stuff, and if I'm listening to Christmas music at the same time, I do get a little bit of a 
magical feeling, if you will. So I literally just did this, and yet I cannot remember what it is I did. That is not what I did. This is not what it's supposed to look like. The last thing that I can really think of that really puts me in the Christmas spirit is the food. I am <laughs> a big fan of food, like a lot of people, I'm sure. And there is something very special about Christmas food, at least the Christmas food that I eat. It's only like you only eat it once a year. You eat it on like Christmas Eve and that's the day you eat it. Maybe you'll eat it one more time during the year, like leading up to Christmas. But usually like Christmas Eve is the one day you get that kind of food and that makes it a very special type of meal, I feel. And the thing that I eat smells a lot as well. So that smell of that kind of food does put me in the Christmas spirit. It's like the one thing on Christmas Eve <laughs> that I really, really enjoy. Leading up to Christmas though, there is also a lot of like seasonal foods that I enjoy and also drinks. I really like this. Christmas beer is also a huge thing here in Norway, but I don't drink beer, so I'll stick with the soda. But I really enjoy that and like different types of Christmas cookies and there are chocolates you can only get this time of year and like different types of chips or crisps or whatever you call them and I really enjoy all of that as well. I do love food, I gotta say. I feel like such an old person, I'm like squinting at the screen, I'm like what are you doing? So this was not so easy to put together. It's one of those things where you see it and you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And then you do it and it doesn't make any sense. But I managed to put it together. I feel like this looks all right. I think if I was even more precise, I wouldn't have like these kinds of gaps, but it's good enough. I feel like you could put some string on this and hang it on your tree and it would be all right. I think the last thing I'm gonna attempt to make is gonna be the most difficult thing. It's a type of like star. It says it's a Christmas star, but it just looks like a star. And it looks very, looks a little bit complicated. So I'm gonna find a piece of paper and attempt to do it. I'm gonna use this to try and make the star and we will see how it goes. I'm trying to think of like more things that put me in the Christmas spirit though. I feel like, I guess doing things like these are kind of nice, like doing DIY projects this time of year is a nice thing to do. I feel like homemade stuff is kind of cool this time of year. I guess it's cool all year, but you know what I mean. I'm not a huge decorator or anything though. Like I did put up my Christmas tree this year, but it's mostly because I did it for a video and now it's up. <laughs> and uh, doing YouTube sort of inspired me to do or has inspired me to do more Christmassy type stuff, including this, I suppose. I guess, I think maybe actually, a thing that really gives me that like Christmassy feeling is snow. When I was growing up, we used to have snow every single Christmas, or at least that's what it felt like. I think maybe it was because where I lived, I feel like now that I live in the city, the snow doesn't stick as fast like they obviously they remove a lot of it so that people can walk and drive and stuff but there's something about the city that just makes it melt right away and I don't know what it is but where I grew up like where I used to live there was snow like once the snow came it like stuck I feel like Christmas is the only time of year that I really actually want snow in the city like in the mountains and stuff it's great to have because you know, people like skiing and hiking and stuff. Whereas when you live in a city, it's just kind of in the way. But just around like the days around Christmas, it's nice to just have a layer of white across everything. Like it's, it's very nice. We don't have it a lot though. So I don't know if it's just global warming or city living that's ruining the snow. <laughs> So I managed to make this star. I used the wrong side of the paper. I kind of wanted the shiny part on the outside, but whatever, I noticed halfway through and I didn't want to do it again. So I made this star and 
I feel like, again, if I had been a little bit more precise, it maybe would have looked a little bit better, but this actually wasn't that difficult. It was pretty easy. I think out of the three, my favorite is the Christmas tree, actually. I might try to make this in a type of like shiny paper and then just either hang them on my Christmas tree or just put them around the apartment. Might give some of these to my friends as well. I feel like it's a cute little thing. Might make more of these as well, although I feel like I would need to just do a little bit of a better job with it, but I feel like I could probably make this look even better. That was kind of the whole video though. I gotta say like sitting down and doing this was actually very relaxing. So I'm gonna try to use more of these and make some more stuff, not necessarily Christmas related, but just like different kinds of things. It's very like relaxing and you have something to focus on and you can just sit and do it and not think so much. I'd love to know what kinds of things puts you in that like Christmas spirit though, whether it be music or movies or food or whatever, tell me all about it, I would love to know. And yeah, I think that was kind of it for today. I will see you soon. Bye.